Good afternoon. This week's word of the week is going to be Martin Sight. So we're going to get into a little bit of metallurgy here. It's kind of more of the advanced stuff in the welding world. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being not that big of a deal, 10 being a huge deal. If you're a welder and you don't know what Martin Sight is, it's around a 2. It's not a huge deal. Nobody's going to call you a moron if you don't know what uh, Martin Sight is. But I had a guy the other day that should have known what it was. We were going over some stuff and he had no clue what I was talking about. So we're going to touch on it. It's kind of more of the advanced welding stuff, but we're going to look at it anyways. Um, now, Martin site is a transformation. It's a crystal martin structure. When you heat up carbon steels and you quench it, it forms a martin -sitic microstructure. What does that mean? And I had wrote down all this stuff to do this, and I didn't write down the one thing that's the most important thing. It's freaking hard, so we're going to circle this. Martin site is really hard microstructure. So now, how hard you want steel to be depends on the application. Like, if you have something that's going to get wear on it, you want it to be hard, so you want martensite. Now, if you're going to try and bend it, you don't want martensite, right? So let's go to the basics of this. And first and foremost, carbon content. This is very important to form martensite. And you see people all the time that say uh, welders are quenching plates or whatever, and they're cutting in a bandsaw, they're going to harden, right? They're hard. Well, if there's not at least 0.25 to 0.30, and this is a bit of a, I was arguing with the guy, I always thought it was 0.3. You say a 0.25, I looked it up, and there was a little bit of, um, a little variance. Some people were saying 0.25, some people were saying 0.30. So I wrote them both down. 0 0.25, 0 0.30. Uh, you have to have at least that amount of carbon in a carbon steel in order for it to harden in the Martin site. If there's not enough carbon, like in low carbon steels, that's why welders weld on low carbon steels. Uh, there's not enough carbon in there to, to harden into Martin site. So you, the big deal here is carbon has to at least have 0.25, 0.30 and above, most of it, if you're hardening, is going to be even higher than that. High carbon steels go above one, you know. So you got to have enough carbon to form the martensite, right? A couple of things um, you have to do is quench the martensite to, to form the martensite anyways. So you have to heat the steel, quench it. We're going to go over the how to form it here in a, in a little bit. But I was explaining what quenching was, and this guy says, whoa, whoa, whoa what's quenching? Well, in the welding world, welders know what quenching is because they quench stuff all the time, right? So I was just going to define it real quick in case you didn't know what quenching is. It means to rapidly cool. Some materials air harden, some materials water harden, some materials are oil hardening steels. Uh, those are all quenching medias. They want to cool it as quickly as possible to form this martin site and make that material as hard as they possibly can get. So depending on how fast you quench the steel, it may form some martin site, may, maybe some bainite, that's another another term, but we're, we're focused on martin sites. So we don't want to get anybody confused. So basically, quenching, rapidly cooling, right? Uh, I threw an alien on here too, because you can bring it back. If you wanted to bend it, um, something, and let's say it was in a martensitic microstructure, you can anneal it. Annealing means you heat it up and slowly cool. That allows that, that carbon to diffuse. So uh, let's pull up the board here and go over the process of how to form martensite. It's pretty difficult. How to make martensite. We're making up a batch of martensite here, I guess. Uh, heat to austenite, that's another microstructure. The martins, or the austenite temperature is 1,333 degrees Fahrenheit, 1,000 degrees Kelvin, 727 degrees uh, Celsius. So you have to heat it up to austenite, then you're going to do your quenching procedure we just talked about, and then your martensite is formed. That's it. It's done. You have martensite. But the big thing is you've got to have enough carbon in order to produce that martensite, and you've got to cool it fast enough. So. Uh, there's different quenching medias. Most people think water is the best. It's actually not. It for, forms a, a vapor pocket around the uh, whatever you're quenching, and that uh, makes it cool a little bit slower. So that's why they do things like put salt in it. So you have the brine or salt water to make it uh, uh, cool a lot faster. So hopefully that clears up what Martin site is. If, if there's any microstructure to know, this is the one. I know uh, a lot of welders don't get into metallurgy too often. But the main thing you need to know is when you heat up steel that has high carbon and you cool it really quickly, it's going to form martensite. So that's the main thing you want to, uh, to understand. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up a, uh, a micrograph where we uh, actually zoomed in on some uh, martensite so you can see the crystal microstructure uh, zoomed right in. I mean zoomed in a lot under a microscope. So we'll check that out. Okay, this is a micrograph of what martensite looks like under a microscope. 
So in order to look at this, you got to cut it, etch it, put an acid on it, and then it brings out the crystal lake structure of the actual uh, carbon steel. And you can see it in here, it's all it's real needle-like. That's how you can tell it's martensite. Every crystal microstructure is different when you zoom in on, under a microscope. That's how you tell what it is. So hopefully that uh, gives you a quick layman's explanation of what martensite is. Like I said, it's not, like, it's not the end of the world if, if you're a welder and you don't know what it is. Uh, the main thing that's really important is to understand that if you have a high carbon uh, steel and you heat it up like you weld it and then dunk it in a quench tank, it's going to harden. So if you don't have enough carbon, it's not going to. But hopefully this explains what Merton site is. That's all we got for today. Thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Weld, and we'll see you next time.